The SOA Artists Guild is a non-profit association with hundreds of open studios and galleries. Danny Caruso, an artist who joined the guild three months before the pandemic, witnessed the studios from crowded to deserted. So much of showing your work is having people come through and you know discussing it and you know just having that um, interaction with people who appreciate art is something that I miss during the pandemic. As the guild followed the city's guide to lift its mask mandate, the artist community is finally greeting the crowd back. And now that the weather is cooperating a little bit more, I think it's just going to continue. Um, and we'll see more and more people come around. I've had three different sets of eyes. At Danny's studio, people often walk up to her and start a conversation. I thought it was really cool to have conversations about where the inspiration came from. Um, to kind of also see kind of what um, inspires the Boston art scene as well. One of her works that received enthusiastic responses is sculptures called the Underwear series. Just about people not seeing one another, not understanding what someone else's walk in life has been. And it's interesting because I feel like that is uh, so relevant right now. Then he gets inspiration from various historical references and current events. It's definitely about the human condition and um, our humanity and what connects us and what makes us all the same and what makes us different. SOA Art Studio is located at South End, opening every Sunday from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. Here, people can meet local artists, explore their latest work, and have a conversation with them. Reporting for Beauty Service, I'm Phoebe Chen.